Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our insane playthrough, uh, blind playthrough I shall add, where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty without having touched it before. And so far we're doing good. It's Act 1, Chapter 4. The name of the game is Survivors. Is uh, We are trying to yeah, rescue more survivors apparently. So far we have uh, reunited with Echo 5, which uh, is the only team that is currently available. And if we're not taking any additional damage here, we're going to take uh, the, get that sweet, sweet optional objective. I like how they make it just a tiny bit more difficult. And we got Gabe as well as Sid, uh, the two main characters. We got Jack here, who hopefully is continuing uh, to be great and supportive. And we got Tank Allison and Spectre Trin with us. I want to give the scout a little bit more uh, chances to shine. The heavy so far seem to have been doing quite well, specifically on missions where you are just going to try to hold a position. We might have stumbled onto a fix for our personnel shortage. TACCOM just picked up a distress call in the industrial district. Whoever it is, we've got to help them. And who knows, maybe they can help us too. Good, let's jump into it and see what this mission is about. Running's all they're good for. She shoots better than you. Okay, protect that truck. Oh, you gotta give it to the interludes. They are really good. So hustle up there. We gotta give them a fighting chance. The way they turn tail, think a hiding chance is all they're up for. <laughs> Noted, Sid. Now move. <laughs> The banter is legendary. I like it. The game is really well done. Uh, so from a pure presentation perspective, awesome. I love it. Okay, good. So what's the plan? First of all, where are the crates? Again, three crates. Okay, cool. So that's number one. Always got to find the crates first. Wait, what? Okay, crate number two back there. They are hiding them well. They are hiding them very well. So apparently we got to get into that cent. Oh, and there's crate number three. Apparently we got to get into that central zone. I like the high ground that we're having here, but it's unlikely that you can just kind of move over and then take high ground there. I don't think that they have implemented it or move on to the... Um, onto the buildings. Is there something like kind of a staircase or a ladder up here? No. No, 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 Saiken. Wrong game. Uh huh. Even Take my own out. soldiers agree with me. Contact. Take them down. What? Where? Good. Carefully advancing. What? And finally going to... Oh my gosh. Diaz. You're slow, buddy. Advancing. 
Jack is going to move up as well, and we're turning invisible. Good, so far so good. Oh, it's back hey, there. Trouble, Jack. Should have seen those guys a bit earlier. That's one big ass truck these civvies have. It's a mining rig. It has living quarters, a reinforced hull, an armory. So we're taking it, is what you're saying. If that's what I was saying, I would have said it. <laughs> okay. The one thing that I learned so they far is Overwatch is really overpowered. I like it. Got your back, soldier. So that's three actions there, and he does 20% more damage. Changing position. Diaz moves up. And we're covered here. We're covering. Redburn moves up, and we're covering here. Yep. And take the little pistol. And get a good, a good overwatch. Now, what we need to do is, in order to deal maximum amounts of damage... One. Yes. And Jack continues... Nah, I don't want to buff uh, them too much. Jack continues to move into the middle of everyone. Don't need the barrier yet. We'll wait until Stay they are actually trouble, starting man. to attack. But a barrier over here or over here could actually work reasonably well. So let's see what the enemy is going to do. Apparently they are starting to move into the zone. Oh boy. Okay, go back into cover, dude. Well done, Diaz. Well done. I'm okay. Now it's our Ooh, turn. Okay, now it's our turn. I like it. What's the spirit? Let's teach them a, a few manners, shall we? Making a mess here. Good. That one. was mainly making a statement. Number two. What's the chance of hitting these guys? 40%. Okay. Not optimal, but doable. Sweet. Two times checked up. We don't need to lock and load yet. Nope, and just become invisible. See ya, Jack. Okay, in yeah. order to optimize our action economy, let's do teamwork Time so the game. DS here will get ability points Stand back. By. Orders. That's a miss. I don't like it. Let's try that again. Fantastic. That was a really good hit. We're goddamn professionals. Still got anchored, uh, so might Setting as well overwatch. Chances are really low to hit these guys. Too far away. No, but we got three turns. Might as well take a full overwatch. On the lookout. Are we? Are we forced to 
uh, to move fast. Potentially not. Supplies for the effort. But if you have the crate, no one can take it away from you. Good. Frag grenade time. Am I seeing a two for one here? Hmm. Not good enough. Not good enough. On Overwatch. Good. And Diaz got an action uh, back, so might as well continue his Overwatch. Overall, Overwatch seems to be quite powerful. I haven't really seen the downside so far because you're always hitting. Uh, you just can't decide the order. Well, almost always. Okay, that's dangerous. Does he get a shot? No, he does not. to break this overwatch here and the way to go sometimes is just charging in taking matters in your own hands nice one that's two kills and a lot of damage like it Throwing frag. took you out we could move, uh, we could not move up, but almost. Fucking load. Ready. Almost ready with another empower ability here. We're covered here. <laughs> All right, one Good time checked check. up and two times checked up, and I think we're just going to I hide ourselves. Cloaked. On Overwatch. I'm yeah, Overwatch is strong. It's really strong. Got two more turns, so might as well Overwatch with the pistol. On Overwatch. Bring it on. We remove the cover here, even. Okay, I like it. Okay. Okay, well, we have a bonus kill right there, but we also got this guy with Overwatch. Okay, now. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, chainsaw takes some more time. That's unfortunate. Bayonet charge also takes some more time. Damn it. Kicking up dirt. Scout on standby. Good. Let's reload that pistol. I'm not sure if we can actually kill this guy. 70% chance to hit. I like it. Good. Okay, and now time for a bit of a cleanup here. Moving in. Close to the truck now. Keep pushing. You got him. Everybody got their action point back. Can't really reach this yep. guy. That is unfortunate. Sixteen percent hit chance. Also, not really what we were looking for. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to use distraction now. There's no point. Hunker down. No one is really out of cover at the moment. Fifty-fifty on hitting him. Okay, that was a de decent hit. Yep. Roger that. Moving up, and uh, let's do some Overwatch again. Scanning now. Because apparently that's the matter here. Still haven't really noticed much of a downside of Overwatching. Okay, Jack is hiding again. Jack's cloaked. We keep this guy here as an extra action point Ready. for next turn. Two more shots I available, see. and we're taking triple overwatch. Now then. Setting up Just in case zone. if he comes around the corner. Here they come. Oh, that one was good. Love the interruption. Oh, he shoots back with partial hit. Oh, okay. Moving up. 60%. Very good. Diaz needs kills. Guns dry. Okay. We don't want to empower. I want to reload. Good to yes. go. And let's kill this guy. Standing by. There we go. Everybody else Still got some turn. hit points back. Yeah. Wilco. I read you. Yeah, I'm trying to feed the kills to our main characters, but maybe that's not the right thing to do. I don't know. I don't know how many levels uh, of experience you can have at the end of the day, and if there is kind of exponential time that it takes. Back in your hole. Kill zone established. Ah, oh, that was the wrong Not one. I was trying to hit the heavy with it. <laughs> All right, yep. moving up. Okay. Let's get a bit closer to the okay. target. The overwatch mechanic it just feels a bit busted is in a bit too strong but maybe there will be yeah a few more uh, enemies that can counter the technique a little bit later in the game uh, moving here doesn't look like a great idea kicking up dirt <clears throat> Let's just reload for now. On it. Good. Sweet. Oh, I love the interruption that the heavy is getting with his gun. Absolutely fantastic. Time to go. En route. Moving up with Diaz. What's his chance? Eighty percent. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. 
missed the target. Of course, only if you are hitting. Scout reporting in. I want to go into the white circle. That might trigger something. I've already learned not to do that. Heavy reporting in. Fifty percent chance. <laughs> Good. Completely jacking him up. Makes it a 63% chance. Dirt and, die. and now there is no more enemy. Standing by. Fantastic. Kicking up dirt. Case secured. Good. Second I'm case secured. Man. Ready. End of turn. Got enemy activity. Nothing is happening yet. Okay. Let's get tactical. Let's get get and grab that third crate, shall we? Okay. And since everybody has reloaded, might as well Bring it on. take a few I'm overwatches. Ready. You never know. Awaiting orders. Later, Jack. Keeping watch. Although the Here civilians are come. within that thing, so it's unlikely that there are now any more up. enemies. Affirmative. Ours now. Good. One more end of turn. Brace for assholes. Okay. Let's mess them up. Let's okay. see. We have the heavy here. Let's move them into a solid position right here. Good. We're on site. Now grab some cover and dig in. Oh, prepare for an enemy attack. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe my cover wasn't that bad after all. Copy. So how about we're positioning ourselves... Isn't that here full, fla uh, full cover? Not a problem. What am I missing? He could move to here and take cover, right? So this is not cover. Strange. Well, and let's move to here. Good. We can plant a zone right there. Let's use the scout in case someone is coming from here. On Overwatch. Ready. Setting up a perimeter. Okay, we don't know where they are coming from. So I'm just trying to get as many angles down as humanly possible. One. I owe you one, Jack. And one. Okay, good. No. There we go. Good. Feel that rumble? Grubs are tunneling in. <laughs> Deviant Hammer Burst Drone. Ranged and gives nearby allies self healing ability. Damn it, they are focusing on that whole theme of auras. Imagine later in the game when there are like dozens and dozens of auras. Wait, what? This guy is a berserker. Oh boy. Bring out that rifle and help save your own damn bacon. Let her tend to her wounded, Sid. We got this. You want us to wash their truck too? We're not their damn lackeys. 
Okay, wait. If we are positioning ourselves here, On my way. that should be a good... That should be a really good uh, position. On Overwatch. Okay, so far so good. Now then. Good, so confirming that he will get extra right, actions. Let's do this. And pl plus 20% damage. I want to see if I do teamwork now and he kills two people. Do I start with more actions next turn? Got your so, back, soldier. Let's try that. Got my eyes peeled. One. Yes. Two. Three. All jacked up. I would like to make sure that whatever comes out I of the hole immediately gets evaporate, uh, evaporated. We got five uh, shots, might as well take full control out of uh, them. Four of these shots will hopefully kill Captain, someone. Here they come! Frogs are tunneling in! Okay, two. Well, those, those both of them I should die. You. Okay, extra bonus actions right there. Nice. That's a full-fledged kill and a good interruption. Oh boy, the heavy is so good. Uh oh. At the same time, they've gotten they've gotten the better of Jack. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. Jack. Good. Support on hand. So this time we only start with three actions, uh, and he has killed someone. So the teamwork does not work outside of your okay. turn. We have established that. Let's use a frag grenade and throw a grenade. Keyhole shut. Good. Well, let's get rid of those two. Next up, I think. You got it. Just killing both of them for extra actions. Down. Should be super helpful. End of score. Good. Easy. Oh, that worked well. We can we can hide if need be. Confirming yes. Jack up. One, two, and then hiding. See ya, Jack. Jack got injured. Um, does anyone else need healing? I think the answer is no, not yet. Here, sim for you. Should have maybe waited, but on the other hand, it's not the end of the world. Orders. 50% chance of hitting. Mm -mm, that's not good enough. So. Reloading. Cover me. We're reloading. We still got four actions. That's a lot of overwood shots. Eyes peeled. And I would just reload to be entirely honest. Bring them on. Keep I still overwatch. Okay. And we're going to hide here. I'm ready. Diaz, can Diaz hide somewhere? Apparently the Apparently this here is not a valid 
hiding spot. 10% chance to even hit someone. That's not going to work out. Might as well just overwatch too far away. We need a better range weapon option. I have the feeling we're okay on kind of medium range, but like full range, it's not our thing. Okay, so far it's a good. Still a 10% chance to hit anyone. Hmm. Can we? Theoretically, lob a grenade and get that guy out of his cover position. He's certainly interrupted, which is good. Bayonet charge. One action. Ooh, that works. Love it. On a skewer. Good, 600 hit points gone. On my way. I read you. Good, two more turns, uh, two more shots, rather. Okay. Reporting in. Diaz moves up. And we're doing a little overwatch. Okay, so far so good. Just in case he moves in, we're having a shotgun overwatch. Jack takes some. Um, he has takes some buffs, and we're giving some buffs to our heavy. She seems to be a complete combat machine. Jack's cloaked. More locust inbound. Keep him off the truck. Oh, those are wretches, right? The normal melee attackers. Yeah, they are nasty. Ah, and even more... More of the enemies that uh, strike All our right, back. We're up. Scout on standby. So how many... <laughs> grenades do we have left yeah we only have her so the scout per definition needs to take care of uh, that situation copy the zone here still seems fine <laughs> moving over here just in case I'm here. Good, so that is a bit of overwatch for whatever is coming I'm from missing. there. Oh, I would love if uh, he would be able to hit that. Confirming once and we're just going to go into hiding mode 20% damage boost and let's see that's a 50-50 but we could theoretically kill four with one shot.
Hmm. I like the 40% damage reduction here, so we're not going to leave that zone. Not easily. Eyes peeled. Scout reporting in. Yes, Overwatch is in that direction. Yeah, what's a good place to throw a grenade next turn? Understood. I think this here is not optimal, but still better than nothing. And we can have another Overwatch. Maybe she interrupts whatever is coming out of the hole. I think that was a kill, right? Yeah, that was a kill and an interruption. Fantastic, that's what we were hoping for. Everybody also healed up. Keep them coming. Awaiting orders. Heavy is doing exactly what the heavy is supposed to do. On standby. Let's try to interrupt this guy. Damn, oh. must be of broken. course, we are missing. I'm listening. Reporting in. Good. We're like what? A few points of damage short. How's our ammunition doing? Two, four. Okay. Well, it's full. I owe you one, Jack. 275. Still not enough to kill it with one shot next um, if we're jacking up. Well, we would need to jack up thrice, but maybe that's actually worth it because we can heal up. Affirmative. There we go. Threat neutralized. Good, we are healing. boy it'll wasted that option can't believe that i missed that one Kill confirmed. i read you all right yeah we we gotta shoot it normally i suppose Thirty-five percent? Nah, that's not going to fly. Almost out. Surprised how many seventy percent shots are missing. Fifty-fifty to get this guy down. Low on ammo. Finally. Finally. Nice. Frag out. I got it. Okay. Good. Uh, let's make sure that that thing is not just moving in. Reloading. Reloading. 
Setting up a perimeter. And eventually our own mate is in, in the perimeter. From the other side. Yeah, but that worked out well. Okay, cool. We killed everybody. That's another healer, right? Yeah, that's another healer. Time to go. Hey. Moving. Okay. Moving up. Planting a grenade here. Uh, oh, that should work out well. Reasonably. And theoretically we can move back here and should be out of line of sight. And also out of the explosion radius. Heavy here. How are we doing? Full yes. ammunition, full ammunition elsewise I would have reloaded. Two more rounds until that uh, that damage reduction zone, which worked really well, so I'm pleased to see how well that uh, went down. Okay. Moving over, moving over. Keeping watch. Good, we're overwatching. Yep. Scanning now. Uh, one action point to go to here. One to buff up Diaz. Nice one, Jack. And one to conceal. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Right in the trunk there. Oh boy, that's a lot. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. But the Berserk also. So so much damage, unbelievable. About damn time. Equally, these guys here are pinning us down. Go ahead. Good, Berserk. We're taunting him. That way, he is going to move through here. Ready. Only a 10% chance to actually hit. Well, wow. oh, that's bad. Yes. Okay, now. later, Jack. Yeah, we're too far away. Still, really low chance of hitting. 84%. Ready. Grenade is not ready. We have no grenades yet. I mean, we could plant another grenade. Could move up, plant the grenade, but mm, that's too way too risky. Orders. Can't really move uh, there. Okay, that, that would be two action points. Is this here kind of waypoints? Okay, yeah, with control, just like in XCOM, you can do waypoints. I wanted to sort of get to here. Just to get around their overwatch.
Moving into full cover. Affirmative. We do have uh, high. Uh, we do have uh, the cloak ability, but that still does not help us if they are just running into us. Instead, I'm trying to slow yeah. them down a bit. We're in full cover, so that's 40% damage reduction. Should be fine. Twenty percent empowered damage onto our heavy. That is good because now the heavy has only three shots. Might as well reload. Not the best round to uh, to give him that extra action because it literally, other than the twenty percent buff, hasn't done anything. And well, yeah, he is reloaded, so I suppose it did a tiny bit. I've got Overwatch. Cool. He should run through a uh, through Bro. this explosion radius. I see you. Nice, Bro. nice. So that explosion worked just like we were hoping uh, it would. All right, are you kidding me? You're just standing in the open. Essentially waiting to get bayoneted. Heading out. I mean, I'm not going to uh, to discuss whether or not that's a good strategy. Oh, the oh, the hole is blocking this, and there is a bursa. So. Nah. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. That is a trick. And a nasty one. Sweet. Scout. Jack's cloaked. Okay. Yep. Good, moving up. We need extra ability points. It's dead. Can we somehow charge in? Is there a way? Well, there is a way to get an attack of opportunity, which God knows we don't need. There's a straight path, so this here should work. Oh boy, the game is taunting me. The game is taunting me. Well, here we go then. 80% miss. Nice little interruption. I like it. Okay. Fifty percent chance to actually hit him. Understood. Okay, much better. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, we're not going to kill him yet. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Explosive shot it is. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I am talking about. Dead to me. Bring it on, I'm ready. Overwatch it is. Yeah, yeah. Moving into cover. I've got Overwatch. Another Overwatch. I think we we, sh we should be safe. That's twice, um, two times Overwatch. There we 
There we go, 40% damage reduction just in case. Got a nice perimeter going. Okay. Bring it on. Solid work. Solid. Now, let's make sure everybody's in one piece. So much for gratitude. We're not done here. With them? No. And you know why. Perfect. Hey there. Looks like we came just in time. Listen, fascist. Your hammer strike took everything from us. Don't you come here looking for things. So here's what I see. Guts. But no discipline. If we hadn't picked up your distress call, you would have been overrun. We can help each other. Join us. All right. Here's what I see. A bunch of lost fascists so desperate for warm bodies, they want to conscript civilians. Hmm. You're hunting that crazy locust. Ukon, what do you know about him? Enough. Places he goes. Show me. Maybe. For the right price. But a start is busted. So unless one of your goons is a mechanic, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I think I know a guy. Nice. Okay. I don't know why we have not achieved our secondary objective. I thought we haven't taken any damage in our turn. Hmm. Strange. Uh, yeah. I'm enjoying Gears Tactics, but I don't want to uh, do any promotions now. Good. So, two actual in-game promotions for Spectre here. And level 3 for Tank. That's great. I can see the amount of experience required for every single level seems to be going up. So, Gabe and uh, Sid here. Are eventually taking more and more time. Convoy upgrade. Cool. We got a refund token. Mikalia um, joined our squad. And we now got a sniper class available. And a Vanguard class. What? Nice. Whom can we recruit? A lot of them leave in one mission. So why would I recruit them? Rescue troops, recruitment pool. I mean, we, we got a lot of gears. I'm not 100% sure why we would need more. It doesn't seem to be a downtimer or anything. Let's first and foremost start with the obvious. We wanted to claim loot. Let's open everything and see what we've got. Blast zone sounds great. Utility belt sounds good as well. So, what is Blast Zone? Unit gets 20% radius on grenade effects. Wouldn't that be great for someone who's actually throwing grenades a lot and not necessarily the healer? The healing grenade really didn't seem like it would need more radius. Patrol. What does Patrol do? This unit overwatch shots get 15% more damage. That sounds like something I would want to theoretically put onto a heavy. Let's take a look at his weapon. Focus. Focus at the start of your turn gets 10% crit chance. Nah. That's good, but we're often overwatching. Okay, well, he overwatches as well, so I guess patrol is not too bad. And the extra ammunition, the drum, actually worked out really nice. 
New armor. What uh, do we have available? Uh, passive spill, uh, skill, untraceable. I like that. I like it almost better than. Oh no, that's the one that we have uh, that we have equipped. Got you. And we got Blitz here. What does Blitz do? When this unit does not take a shot for a turn, 30% chance to get plus one action. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can see how you could make that work, but I, we're still taking a lot of shots. Utility belt. Frack and Stim Grenade ability are reduced by two. Oh my gosh, that's great. So that plus... That plus uh, that other ability which we've just gotten. The extra blast zone. Let's see. Maybe we can give her utility belt. She's close to the enemy, right? So maybe you can actually build a... I wonder if you can build a scout around throwing grenades. There's another cooldown reduction. Maybe. Okay, that, we'll figure it out. Last zone. Okay, so she got the helmet. What else do we have? Plus three accuracy bonus. Oh yeah, she needs that. Lots of stuff already equipped. Let's do the equipment first. Because I noticed that is almost the most important stuff. Good. We've used our helmet and the armor. Now we got a sniper here. Base sniper. Got an engineering shirt equipped. That's not really good. Well, now she has blitz. When this unit does not take a shot, 30% chance to get an action point. Might not be the worst for a sniper. Civilian boots? No. Damage reduction? No. Movement rate. That's not bad. Can't take a helmet yet. And I think we only got a normal weapon. Okay, good. So far, the equipment looks looks decent. I would focus on kind of a core roster for now. I don't know what the advantage is of just having additional units. I quite like the main characters so far so might as well just level them up and let's take a look now at the skill points uh, now the skill trees I'll do that uh, I'll do that in fast forward and give you kind of my view on it okay so that guy looks awesome I mean I don't I I yet don't fully know what the best uh, of the four trees is going to be. But I do have a bit of a suspicion at least how I'm playing it. So the way that I'm seeing it is generally the right hand side seems to be more the overwatch uh, and explosion focus side. And the left hand side seems to be more the damage, direct damage focus side. It might be just my interpretation so far, but the whole concept of being anchored uh, kind of leads towards that overwatch uh, fire a bit more granted if you go through specialist you can move and you do not lose anchored which i think is quite nice and there are a couple of triggering abilities such as this one here missing shot you can shoot uh, once again um, or this one here uh, even if you're not anchored there's a 35 percent chance that you get anchored so this here looks interesting. I'm not sure though how it plays out. I would need to test it. And it did not appeal to me like the immediate right uh, play. And then down here, 
Uh, that, that's a lot of... Um, the, the whole concept here seems to be to work around that heat up skill. Gain 25% damage this turn. Effect stacks every time the unit sho uh, shoots. Regain uh, one action. And then essentially... Uh, you automatically reload on top of it and you you just like shoot 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 and have this extra shot this uh, critical uh, uh, chance shot so you're trying to kind of do that massive shot continue shooting until your mag is empty and the target dies cannot uh, cannot target bosses was what I thought was uh, a turn off elsewise it would have been actually quite nice uh, one action unit to essentially banish like the Reaper uh, did in XCOM 2. So that one here looked good, but all of this here was shooting related. What I liked uh, quite uh, quite a lot was that tree down here, the defender tree. Might be my defensive playstyle, but uh, this here is wrongly skilled in my perspective. But what I would do if I were to play this from scratch explosive shot because that's a pretty nice normal ability then when entering overwatch reduces cooldowns of all skills that means explosive shot has a two round cooldown you get a new uh, skill which is called suppressing fire essentially preventing enemies from moving i like that one when this unit uh, uses over uh, overwatch uh, it gets one action so essentially you get four actions if you're standing that whole um, suppressing fire could be improved Although I'm not sure if that's actually needed, uh, the whole shtick of it is you just make sure that, that the enemies do not move. What I liked was that counter push uh, thing here. Whenever you kill someone with overwatch, you get a plus three meter movement because uh, the matter of the fact is these guys are quite slow and the way that I'm seeing it, if you can redeploy into a better cover next turn and then continue overwatching, that's uh, you're using less points to move and you can essentially continue overwatching and then plus 50 percent overwatch damage is just wow fantastic so that tree for me looks almost like a no-brainer but now how do you combine it and i personally think this one here could be an option as well so having that demolition uh, uh, portion with the explosive shot and then going for uh, for the further explosive shot and Eventually, when this unit kills or downs an enemy, it frag grenades and explosive shot cooldowns are reduced by one. That, combined with the Overwatch uh, or ability here, could reduce your explosive shot by two um, whenever you kill something, which means, yeah, if you're just killing stuff, your explosive shot will be ready. And it looks like you're cycling through one explosive shot and then immediately starting to Overwatch again. Uh, just to continue shooting. So this looks like a fun build, those two together. The other thing that I could see is going for the Defender. And then eventually, uh, what was I thinking there? I th I think um, that one here could be a good combination as well. So whenever Overwatch is kind of not really working, you may want to just go down and take that Ultra Shot. Uh, that looks like a fantastic ability. Uh, it phenomenal the only thing is it does not work on bosses so like just shooting all of your magazine and auto reloading and with a last action point essentially like gunning uh, someone down and certainly helps to get that heated up ability so this here is all about normal shooting this here is all about overwatching i think for this particular uh, yeah, playthrough what i'm going to try is first um uh, readying uh, the abilities down here and then going for that explosive build good so we're going for suppress fire yes and quick overwatch that extra ap when he's overwatching sounds good next up will be those two so that is this class and for now let's go into the scout i've already taken a look at the scout first impression many interesting many many interesting things with the scout so let me just talk through that real quick so with regards to the skills i mean it's difficult to say i don't know enough about the game to make a final verdict but here are a couple of initial thoughts so the radar tree seems to be all about kind of core ability called double shot where you're shooting twice then essentially um, 
the double shot ability takes less cooldown. <coughs> no, not even less cooldown, but um, it'll allow you to shoot the second uh, target if the target dies with the first shot. And that is all fine and good. The ultimate here is Rampage, which apparently uh, is a shot that if it kills an enemy, um, you shoot again with the same effect. So essentially you're uh, killing someone and then you get almost cleave ability is apparently what it uh, what it's like and then uh, mm, the cooldown of uh, that would be reduced when you're double shooting that generally looks fine you even have some healing in there and you have a weird ability called exertion where you're taking damage and then immediately gain two actions that in itself sounds great because apparently with with that ability you could even get three actions so I'm not 100% sure how good that plays out, but it seems to be kind of the shoot ting uh, type of uh, scout. Then here is the ambush scout, uh, focusing around the finisher ability, essentially extra crit damage when you're hidden up to 100%, and then um, a three um, round cooldown instead of a five round cooldown. And what it does is when you are killing someone with a critical strike, you have 100% there, you immediately turn hidden again. So it's kind of an assassin but i'm not sure how to deal with the cooldowns uh, if you could get that down to zero cooldown i think it would be awesome because you can continue to eventually kill them and assassination and the unit kills an enemy uh, with an action initiated uh, initiate, uh, initiated while hidden you gain one action so essentially you could get a, a go around like a reaper and if you can get that finisher here down to one that might be in a completely imbalanced uh, tree where you're going en enemy by enemy. Then again, I don't know how how much damage the shotgun does. You potentially would need to pimp that quite a bit in order to make it uh, worthwhile. Then the other side seems a bit more straightforward uh, for my taste. So you uh, got the sprint ability. That in itself um, solves one massive issue that I had so far with the scout. Just the ability to not be fast enough at the front line oftentimes i end up using the pistol because i'm just not in there might be because i'm not playing the class aggressive enough but i've taken a bit of a beating uh, so far and um, i'm not sure if if they are sturdy enough to even withstand it so what the sprint ability does it is it allows you to run in a straight line and uh, it eventually goes down to two turns cooldown and has a massive amount of uh, meters. So that seems like a good ability, but maybe even an ability that you only need uh, ever so often. So sometimes I wonder if it is worthwhile just picking it once and you do have the sprint ability. Now, what is cool on in this tree though, is there is an ability called anticipation, which I even favor over that exertion. The exertion, uh, you get immediately three actions for the cost of one, so that's a net plus two, but you lose 30% of your health. Here, you get two actions next turn, so yes, it is not as many actions, and it's not immediate, but if you know how you're, uh, how you're supposed to play, this here looks actually quite serviceable and not bad at all. And then we do have um, Obfuscate, which pretty much like hunker down is a kind of get out of uh, free card target non-scout ally gets the hidden status effect i like that uh, because it'll reduce uh, my chances to completely mess up uh, with um, a mispositioning so personally that seems like a good ability specifically if you play it for the first time stalker uh, increased uh, movement range uh, goes nicely with that sprint together and then this year was just something that i really appreciated free cloak one action whenever uh, you get one action back whenever you use uh, cloak so that per se looked fantastic there are a couple of uh, things that i found work well with that and those are specifically down here in this commando tree the commando tree i I appreciate that you can throw grenades and then here you do have an ability, where is it? Yeah, proximity mine. Um, that uh, The grenade throwing and the proximity mines are not on the same cooldown. So this here allows you on a five round cooldown to essentially have another grenade just with a proximity mine. And if you throw it just in front of their feet, 
they eventually will trigger it immediately. But even cooler, look at this here. Frag Grenade Mastery re uh, reduces the Frag Grenades by two turns. Keep in mind, we have the same with our Utility Belt. So we're down five turns, which means, I, if I have done the math right, we eventually would get grenades every single turn. And that would be a completely busted... Uh, yeah, the, the grenades are like dealing, what, 1,400, 500 damage? The, the enemies are just melting with it and they are removing Overwatch, so that's pretty good. There are a couple of other things that I like about this tree here. Um, number one, when you kill something, Frag uh, Grenade and that planting goes down by one turn as well. So if you play your cards right and you are throwing a grenade, then killing someone you would reset the grenade again and could throw another grenade. Oh, this is, that looks busted. And Demolition Expert, um, Units Track gr Grenade do no longer remove the hidden status, which is, thinking about it, might not be too bad together with that Slayer. So I could see a world where you're going around and you're essentially invisible. Uh, you have that free cloak. Uh, there's even an ability here that is called extended cloak, which allows you to continue being uh, invisible for one extra duration. Uh, so uh, if you can get the cloak ability even further down, that would be nice. And you could throw grenades uh, from being invisible, then use this finisher here without losing stealth. Here, when a unit... No, no, where is that? No, um, does not lose stealth. Finisher. Finisher. First time unit kills an enemy with a critical hit or an execution in a turn, unit gains the hidden status effect. Okay, so I could see um, explosion into grenade. So first of all, free cloak, right? Moving into position, explosion into grenade into ambush uh, into kind of re stealthing and then another grenade might be a pretty busted turn if you're going with commando and slayer hmm are we going to have enough skill points is the question not sure let's first of all start running in a straight line yes and frag mastery Yes, uh, that reduces it to to almost nothing. I like that free cloak as well. Sounds like a really good ability. At the same time, if we're going with proximity mine and proximity mine level two and then quick swap, And Demolition Expert, I mean, everything to here seems a no-brainer. Demolition Expert, uh, matter of fact, is also a no-brainer. What's this? Zapper, when this unit closes an E-hole, two actions. That's good as well, because it would allow us to essentially use, use this unit here just to close holes every single time. So yeah, how about we're just trying to kind of get that bottom side? And then we're either doing recon. I like this anticipation thing. Yeah, the first one isn't as good as the second one. The second one is much better. This here seems to be really recon. It seems to be all about movement, but the sprint already is a pretty good ability. So. I might go Commander and Slayer just because I want to see if this escape route thing and the explosion works as I as I would be guessing it would. That free cloak is super good. We're going to take that as well. Double shot seems good and those finishers specifically with the escape route seem good as well. Assassination also is good. So how about we're just going down here and extended cloak free cloak and i don't know if we can still make it all the way until assassination 
but that would be another action that we're uh, that we're getting back okay cool now so much for our base team let's just dive into the sniper real quick as a final class okay so wow those skill trees are surprisingly even thinking about it generally speaking marksman seems to be a skill tree that is all about kind of a skill called first blood where you are trying to hit the enemy and if it is full health it'll get extra damage and then uh, lucky streak is the ultimate uh, when the unit hits an enemy with critical strike uh, it gains plus 20 percent critical hit chance for this turn seems legit uh, seems like kind of a first strike uh, built uh, tree whenever the unit kills an enemy with a critical hit 25 percent chance to get two actions but i only can trigger one so apparently kind of that's a one shot build then a noticeable um, feature is this one here, uh, which is whenever a unit downs or kills an enemy, random skill will have cooldown reduced by one, which isn't bad because you could reduce that first blood or any other skill. But if you go uh, with this here, you're trying to not have as many active skills as possible and you certainly don't want to rotate them too much because if you only use one skill, uh, then my reading would be that skill uh, whenever you kill a unit automatically redu reduces by one uh, turn so if you can stack passive abilities and find that one skill that you want with a sniper that's actually be a relatively cool feature now down here in the assassin's tree it's all about two abilities number one this precision shot two action points but higher accuracy and higher uh, damage and then bullseye which essentially means the next shot that you're doing uh, you're critting all of this is fine i'm not sure if i want to have a two ability point shot though uh, the passive or the ultimate here is 50 percent uh, damage bonus on the first hit of uh, the turn goes so nicely together with that first blood like if you're shooting 100 percent damage bonus here then um, first hit another 50 percent on top of it i can see quite large crits coming out of it and uh, this one here is one of the noticeable other features kind of a collection um, of extra damage up to 30 percent passive i assume it starts at zero every single mission and then you eventually get through it so sounds like a cool um, left hand side uh, so far i i observed that left hand side and right hand side have very different kind of themes the top and bottom not so much so this here seems uh, very much kind of the crit high damage side. The other side was interesting because it's more um, crowd control, a bit overwatch and uh, action economy. And let's start with the crowd control. Uh, the bottom part here is concussion shot. Apparently uh, you can um, shoot and put normal enemies in concussion. Five um, cooldown, uh, five turns cooldown. I can see that with, M uh, with the epiphany, it could work out well. The uh, passive skill here is uh, whenever you hit someone, they are getting knocked down. So this here is really all about kind of controlling the battlefield. However, given that we already have this uh, scout with the explosion and the interruption from the heavy, I'm not sure if you really need that. And to be honest, I'm also not sure about uh, the team composition so far. Um, I don't know how strong uh, the sniper class is. Terrified looks uh, like a great skill as well. When this unit kills an enemy, uh, every enemy in, in the proximity gets minus 25% um, percent accuracy and uh, even improves all the way up to 40%. So I really like this one here. Uh, it seemed like a crowd controlling uh, type of uh, deal. Elusive is more defensive in nature and when this unit uh, reloads, you also get a damage bonus. So I can see how the entire damage boni can stack up quite uh, quite a bit, uh, to be entirely honest. So now here is, however, what I think could be a good combination. And this kind of brings me to the last uh, mm, uh, to the last one, which is the hunter tree with action economy in it. Fast fingers is an interesting skill. Um, three down, uh, uh, three rounds cooldown. Shoot if the target is downed or killed. Uh, you reload. In the improved version, level two, um, you reload and you get one action. So it's kind of a mini serial or death from above type of uh, thing, although it has a three rounds cooldown. Now, uh, picture this. If you miss, 
uh, the cooldown refreshes automatically. So that's the cool part as well. However, if you kill something, uh, the cooldown immediately goes down from uh, 3 to 2. And uh, then when you end your turn, doo -doo -doo, has not taken a shot, um, you automatically reduce it by another one. So uh, say if it would be, um, if it uh, still would be um, recharging, this year would uh, do it faster. And I'll come to ultimate shot in a second. Uh, the other ability here seems to be chain shot, shoot and if the target is hit, unit gets one action. Uh, shoot and if the target is hit, unit gets two actions. Um, passive skill, first time the unit moves and takes a shot, it gains 50% uh, damage um, for that turn. And from higher elevation, you essentially get another 20% accuracy bonus. So we're looking at the high ground XCOM alternative. So what I'm thinking is if I was to create um, a build where we were using fast fingers and this chain shot only, then theoretically what we could do is say, uh, if we deal enough damage, uh, and we're killing something with chain shot immediately the um, the cooldown would go further down of chain shot um, and we would get like it doesn't say anything from maximum amount of actions that you get so the cooldown would be two uh, normally and um, if we miss we would even get a refresh if we can reduce that cooldown by one more you can almost continuously kill and regain actions and if you're ever running out of actions this here seems to be kind of the solution you shoot hit get two additional actions back okay granted then the epiphany will need to reduce both of the cooldowns but okay i mean that's still fine you just need to ignore all of the other stuff now the idea of what would go well with that um, with that then is a lot of passive uh, passive uh, bony and what I'm seeing here is a passive bonus here for um, essentially reloading on an empty magazine uh, um, although uh, here's a passive bonus we got uh, critical overwatch as another passive which works well there is an aura when this unit takes the first shot with full magazine 15 percent damage bonus that seems like a no-brainer when this unit takes the last shot in their magazine, 25% uh, bonus, that's also not bad. And here, when the uh, target um, uh, shot is, is less than full health, 10% critical strike chance. So I can see how all of these uh, passive ones plus this here together could be a strong uh, combination. I have thought about if you might want to go all the way down to Headhunter. Yeah? Um, and e eventually use that as well or um, try to go with first uh, first blood um, but then the epiphany wouldn't be as great as it uh, as it is because it would not uh, release the fast finger so this is really kind of cleaning up um, all of the mooks and then there is like this ability one action uh, shoot and if the target is downed or killed uh, this unit gets maximum actions, which I found great because uh, imagine you're running out of uh, actions, of essentially killing um, uh, something, and then with chain shot on top of it, you can yeah you you could you regain a lot of uh, actions. So this could be good even in boss fights. Um, yeah, that's the idea. I, I mean, I think we're going with fast fingers here for now, and let's see. This one is good. I think we're going with second chance for now. That way, fast fingers would um, recover the moment that uh, we are missing the first, or when we're missing, we would have one recovery. And yeah, next up, I would like to go to fast, all the way up to fast fingers, two up here. And then potentially ultimate shot and potentially run and gun and epiphany so maybe we're going all the way like that uh, ultimate shot definitely uh, run gun looks like a no-brainer as well and then weak spot into epiphany and that's kind of a good base build uh, I, I hope it is a good base build 
she's a permanent character so i would say the base uh, team that we're going to run is uh, vanguard support and sniper for now because these seem to be the main um, the main characters and then it's either a scout or a heavy since we do have that that nice uh, grenade setup we might be using a scout scout and sniper together seem legit I potentially will be missing the heavy with all of his overwatch abilities but I'm hoping that the sniper uh, will be able to yeah to to make up for the lost DPS but um, maybe it's it's a it's a case of sometimes uh, also switching up uh, the team we oh have side missions um, yeah, we're going to look into that uh, the next time, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. I appreciate that, specifically the comments. And uh, let's explore the game together. What is your favorite class? I, I'm not even sure if we have seen all of the classes, but uh, how about we're talking a bit about your favorite class? Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.